I'm Bob Healy. I'm the founder of Grill Blazer and the inventor of the grill gun. And I am here today to teach you something about the adapter hose and how to use it correctly and when it fouls and why it will foul, how to clear the issue. So let's start with, we have a, a couple of propane tanks here that I'm going to demonstrate the um, adapter hose and connecting to it. This is a adapter hose that is empty. It's depressurized. I'm going to put it right into the nozzle, I mean the valve on the tank, and I'm going to screw it all the way in until it's fully tight. Okay, it's tight. Now, there's a check valve right here in this, uh, the, the connector that I screwed in here. If I turn it on too fast, it will check. It's a safety check valve to keep the hose itself from, if you damage the hose, from emptying your tank and spewing it all out. So it must, there must be pressure in the hose in order for the check valve to completely release and allow you to pressurize the hose. So I'm gonna turn it on slowly and when I turn it on, you're gonna hear, a, you, if I turn it on slow enough, you won't hear any clicking. So I'm gonna turn it on, make you hear the click with the uh, check valve setting and then I'll turn it off and back on so that you experience what I'm talking about. So here we go. Okay, so you might not have heard that, but I heard it click a couple of times, and now the hose is fully pressurized. So now it's ready to connect to the grill gun, or in this case, I have a sous vide gun that I'm going to use. But I want to demonstrate to you today why you'll have problems with the, the hose, if you have problems, and how to solve it. So the purpose of this video here, I'm going to put a, a glove on my hand, so that I can actually have um, the contents of the, of the propane. Do you enjoy the chickens? They're fun. So anyway, I'm going to push in, I'm going to take a, a little Allen wrench here, just a small tool. You could use a screwdriver. And I'm going to push, if, if you get in here close, you can see there is a, there's a little O-ring and a valve stem down inside this connector that if I push on it, I'm going to get propane gas to come out. Right. So if this is on and the hose is pressurized, I can do this. I want to do this all outside because I'm shooting a volatile gas in a combusted, combustive atmosphere onto my hand. But you can see my hand is, if you, if you look closely in the sunlight here, there's a little bit of, of oil that's on my hand. That's because propane is an oil. It's gasified petroleum oil uh, in a liquid state, liquid petroleum oil. So. I put a clean hose on a clean tank and pressurized it, and this is ready to go on the, on the grill gun, be screwed into it, and operate the grill gun, or in this case, the sous vide gun. So this is how it will ordinarily work for you, just that simply. If you make the mistake of leaving this on and allowing it to uh, sit overnight and condense, which is what this one's done. Uh, yesterday, I turned the valve on, this is on, and I had the hose connected with it. And at, it was hot yesterday, there was liquid propane in the hose, I mean, gas propane in the hose, and it condensed overnight. And I'm gonna show you the difference between why it's important. When you see in the, in the instructions that I say, Always empty your hose before you, uh, always, always use the grill gun to completely eliminate all of the propane in the gun, burn it off before you turn off, uh, turn off the valve and burn it all off before you quit using it for the night. I'm gonna demonstrate why that's so important. Okay, so with this one here, this has been sitting overnight, actually for a couple of nights, and I'm gonna let you see the difference between what comes out of the hose and what was supposed to come out of the hose, this other one. So here we go. 
See this? This is this is making a mess. And this is all oil that would be shot up into your drill gun. Right? And it's cold because that's the way it is. Now I have I've done that enough. It's now running clear. So it's not like a permanent problem. This is actually how you clear a hose that you've left pressurized. If you do that on your in your sous vide gun or your grill gun, if you do what I just did here, where I shot oil all over my glove, if I shoot the oil up into the sous vide gun, I don't want to grab it here because it's oily, but if I shoot it up into the sous vide gun, it's going to foul the check valve. And once you foul the check valve, then you've got oil in the gun. I've actually had some of them that have been returned where it was a ton of oil that was up in the gun and it all had to be cleared out in order to be able to be used because they didn't do what they're supposed to do. Whenever it's, this is now safe to use because I've cleared the oil out of it. And if I screw it on the sous vide gun now and turn on the gas, it works just fine. So if you have a problem where you've, uh, where you've shot oil up into the gun because you've used it incorrectly, that's what causes it. It gets this oil up in the hose because it was left overnight over repeated nights pressurized instead of using it and depressurizing it every time. Okay, so if you if you have that situation, there is another video that I've done on how to clean out the check valve. The check valve is right here behind the uh, stem that goes into the uh, gas bottle or into the hose. So you'd want to watch that one on servicing the grill gun. You can do it with uh, with a 10 millimeter socket or with a service kit. But that's how you would, this is, if you improperly use the hose and if you um, shoot oil up into the gun accordingly, then it's not gonna operate correctly. It'll be sensitive, it will, it will work partially, but you really need to clean the check valve if that ever happens to you. So I hope this video has been helpful and I appreciate your paying attention. Thank you.